Well, I think um, I'm, I'm fairly convinced that, as, as we said in the papers we put out uh, on the uh, slowdown in global warming, that there has been heat sequestered into the deeper ocean. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. I mean, that the ocean functions in that way, and, and one wouldn't, wouldn't expect the, the heat to always be trapped in the upper layers in a very systematic, linear fashion, if you like. Um, and there is really strong evidence that there have been changes in the Pacific Ocean, potentially also the Atlantic, and of course the Southern Oceans, a hugely important region. And all of this, I mean, we ha we're so limited in our observations of the deep ocean. Um, and we have such a short record, even from the Argo floats, of where the heat is, at least in the top kilometre or so, that, you know, we are still having, really at the very beginning, I think, of understanding how the ocean works on these slower interannual decadal timescales and the way that they take heat from the surface and move it around within the body of the ocean, and that heat will re-emerge. Um, I mean, we have to be honest about that, but I think actually, the, again, there is enough evidence from the observations from theory and from models to, 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 to tell us that actually it's, it's perfectly possible uh, that the current slowdown is just because the ocean is moving in a different way and taking heat down into depth.